So let's understand now how we can work with dependency injection on modular and how we can use it, how we can recover the instance. Okay, uh, for example, here we have the RAM store, right? And we are telling to the modular, hey module, create only one instance of this, the RAM store, one instance, because we are using the singleton here on the bind, right? This bind are singleton. So when we enter in the, uh, at the module, this bind will initialize it too. For example, now we have created, so, okay, but the question is how we can recover this, the first instance, right? How we can recover this? In my case, let's show a, a simple example. We, here, we don't have the store. And for example, here, inside our store, we have the counter. Hey, just, just, just to remember, I'm using Mobex, right? And we can we just we need to access the increment function here so let's access oh but we don't have here so how we can recover this instance it's simple we can set here final room store room store store equal modular dot get what this meaning for example, when we call the modular.get, we are telling to modular, hey modular, go to your to your binds inside the ROM module and try to find the ROM store inside the list. When you find this, this ROM store, bring to me. Then how it works? We can simply access directly. For example, here, let's put here the counter, right? Print counter and let's call the increment store increment okay now let's do the test let's refresh okay in this case we don't need to refresh okay let's start and let's do the the test if are working here okay it's working we can access we can recover the the first uh, initialize of our rom store and it's work right now let's see some errors that we can do here for example let's forget to initialize this instance and let's refresh and check oh rom store not found what does this mean this mean that the modular uh can find this the rom store Modular can find this ROM star inside the bind, right? So when we go bring again, we create again, we just need to refresh and should work now. Yeah, it's working without any problem. Okay, perfect. Now let's understand more complex because we can recover this inside our page, right? But if we want to work, if you want to work with, uh, injecting the constructors, right? L let's suppose that the, the user store need to access a service, right? So inside the run module, we need to, crea to create our user store, right? And our user service. Okay, let's go to the page first. Let's see here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we are in the page. Now let's change the page to the user page and to the user store. We can close this and we need to open this. Okay, now for example, let's suppose we don't have this at this time. And let's suppose we don't have this too. Let's remove this from here. Okay, but Oh yes, this need to be a final. Okay, no problem. So for example, let's suppose that we have the user store, right? And 
we need to call a service. For example, we need to call the user service and inside this user service, we have, for example, a function that access our dat internal database, like the SQL flight, for example. And how we can do this using the dependency injection? It's easy. For example, we need to initialize our instance here, right? Inside our user store, we need to create the user service. And because it's final, we need, in this way, we can do this way to recover our uh, instance. For example, the first way it's calling, oh, I forgot, it's calling the modular dot get and okay let's import okay let's uncomment this so let's make the test if are working let's refresh okay let's click here and should should work yeah hi three seconds work it because for example we are how we do we did here are the same right this is the same and this is the same. We can tell into modular, hey modular, go to the binds and try to find the, the user service. So if the user service exists here, they will bring it uh, back to us. But I don't like this way inside the, our stores, right? So how we can do this? It's easy. We can remove this and call this user service, let's require. Okay, let's use it as required and let's go to our row module we have a error here and now we need the user service so user service and how we can recover how we can inject inside this constructor it's easy modular uh, have this for us i dot get so this should work without any problem because these do the same of the modular.get let's test and call the service and should work yes there is high three seconds right and this way we can access our service we can access our database in this case this is a, a just an example and let's do the same we did before the to show the error let's let's suppose that we forget this so let's refresh again. Okay, and yeah, we got the problem. User service not found because we are telling to the modular to look inside our binds, uh, but they can find they can found this, right? So let's uncomment this again and okay, refresh, access, and call the service. Three seconds, and there is. This is the best way to work with dependency injection. And one more thing, it's more testable, right? When we, when we write tests using the modular, it's more easy to use this way. So thanks for watching.